Praise the Lord, Dr. Francis Mouse in the house. Wow, another another prayer marathon is on the way. Uh, make some noise uh, on Facebook, on YouTube. Please make some noise and uh, let people know the man of God is live. He's about to release one of his dangerous prayers. But today, uh, what is what I'm burdened for is marriages, relationships that are under demonic assault. So some of you, you are married. For some of you, you are betrothed, about to get married. And even before you walk the aisle, the, the bridge is shaky. The enemy wants to bring it to an end. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I want to pray for you today. Today, amen, I want to pray for one of the most important institutions in human history, the institution of in marriage. It's a, it's a blessed it's one of God's blessed ideas, and yet you you wouldn't believe it. By the Gehenna, the problems that our marriages are experiencing around the world. So today, I'm believing God for the move of God. I'm believing God that there's going to be many marriage miracles. There are people who are divorced. I have had people who are on the verge of divorce, divorce, get back together under this anointing, and it was better than before. You know, it's not just getting back together to more drama and more of the same, it's getting back together uh, where something supernatural that the enemy almost aborted begins to happen. And then there are people that you are still married, but life is tough. The marriage, you're not enjoying the gift of marriage as much as you could enjoy it. So today, we want to overthrow the evil altars of marriage breakers. As the purpose of the prayer marathon, I'm going to be praying today by the Spirit of God. Amen. But I know there are many married people who are following me from around the world, uh, and I want this for them. Maybe if somebody who's not following me, it's a friend of yours, but their marriage is in trouble. They are cry crying in a corner somewhere because of this truth. Tremendous sorrow that is being pumped into their marriage by the demonic powers, the demonic entities, and the demonic technologies that ensnares us all. You know, maybe this, maybe this, this is one video that you can send. Uh, to a man who's going through it, a woman who's going through it, his marriage trying to throw in the towel, all that stuff. Today, this early this morning, I got a confirmation because I was praying for a woman this morning that uh, has been trying to get hold of me. And when we finally talked, she was more concerned about her marriage being put together than anything else, you know, because the husband and house are becoming strange. They were very close, but something happened. You know, they are not divorced, but there is an estrangement there. And I began to pray. So I realized this is what the Lord wants me to do. But, but listen, like always, we want to first recognize, uh, give a shout out to all the people. Give a shout out to all of you saints out there. Amen. That join us and follow us. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be giving a shout out. Look at that. Annie Wilson from Kenya. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Look at that. Sonia Thomas from the UK. God bless you. Look at God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Man, listen. Hallelujah. Look at that. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. He said, God bless you. God bless you. Look at that. Amen. Jaguna, Mia, God bless you. God bless you. It would be good if you tell me where you're coming from. I like that. Amen. Kezia from Botswana. God bless you. Dr. Mao's here. Hallelujah. Look at that. Look at that. Rene from South Africa, talk to me, somebody. Look at that. I just came from Malawi. There's already somebody from Malawi. Monica Tembela, God bless you. Hallelujah. Look at that. I was just in Blantyre, Malawi, over the weekend. We had a very powerful time. Cassandra says, "Love from London." Amen. Love me some. Love me some people from the UK. Praise God. Look at that. Hope, Texas. Who's that? Oh, somebody from up Texas. God bless you. Uh, hallelujah. Look at that. Amen. Uh, Hannah from New York. I love me from New York. Uh, look at that. Jesus is Lord. Ah, uh, Christelle from South Africa. From what? Pretoria North. Look at that. South Africa. Love it. I used to live in Pretoria and I used to go to Hatfield Church. Look at that. Look at that. My God. Francine from St. Vincent and the God. And Grenada, Grenada, look at that. God is God. Welcome, welcome to the broadcast. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Even though today my focus will be praying to overthrow the evil out of marriage breakers, 
just realize that I know uh, I'm gonna still pray. I'm gonna pray general prayer for other for other areas of deliverance you may need. But if, but I want you to know the focus today is marriages that are in trouble. So the loved ones whose marriages are in trouble, you want to you want to stand up. You want to text. You want to type in in the comment section their prayer requests of the marriages of your family members. Maybe it's your mom and dad, and you just want the man of God to release the word of the prophet of it. I would love to do that by the Spirit of God. Look at that. Thank you, Jesus. Daniel from Houston. Houston. Daniel, I think it's Daniel Salazar. Oh. Originally from Houston, Texas, but watching from Hong Kong. Come on, man. God bless you. I don't know how late it is in Hong Kong, but thank you for joining us, man. Really appreciate you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at God. God is so good. He's an amazing God, eh? Look at that. Somebody from Italy. Italy. Ah, Cristelle from Italy. Hallelujah. Love me some Italy. Praise God. What a God we serve in Jesus' name. Ma Caraba. Look at, amen. Christ, to oh God prosper. God prosper, Dr. Mao. Dr. Mao's marriage too in Jesus' name. Somebody's praying for me as well. Kamala's going to be happy about that. Hallelujah. Look at that. Peter. From Malawi, uh, from Malawi, where you just finished ministering last Sunday. Welcome, Peter. Yes, we just got a great time in Malawi. Jazzy, Jazzy from Canada. I love me some Canadians. I love some Canadian people. A lot of people from Canada. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be in Canada in April of next year and September. So next year, the Canadians get Dr. Mouse twice. Uh, the first time I come to Canada in, in April, I'm going to be hosting a, one of my most radical, life-changing personal transformational schools. It's called The Consciousness of Now, How to Live a Stress-Free Life. It's amazing teaching. It's like two days for me to go through the content. So I'll be in, I believe I'm, I'm going to be in Vancouver, I believe, for that particular one. And I'm going to be in Calgary again in September for the Canadians. So I'm excited about it. Uh, coming back to Canada. Some Stone Mountain, somebody from my hometown of Georgia. Stone Mountain, Georgia. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. Now, hallelujah. Beatrice from Uganda. I'm going to be in Uganda. Since I'm going to be in Uganda. Yes, I'm going to be in Uganda in December uh, for the conference there. Once we finish the flyer, I'm going to let you, let you know. I have another prayer marathon on Friday. So I should be able to give you some more details on Uganda. For those who follow me in Uganda and would like to see the man of God, praise the Lord. What a, God, what a God we serve. What a God we serve is an amazing God. Now listen, I'm excited. Uh, before I go into the subject for our broadcast and begin to pray and release some fire bombs, of the Holy Ghost over your life and ministry, amen, over your relationships, amen, whether you are a spouse to be married and your, and your relationship is already under attack before you go to the altar or you already have passed the altar, you're married, but my God, the, the devil has come against your marriage with great wrath. God, trust me, there is nothing the devil hates than a marriage that, remi than the marriage that reminds him of the, of the relationship between the church and Jesus Christ. Or it's a great mystery, but marriage is a reflection of who Jesus and the church are supposed to be. And the devil gets mad when he sees couples getting along uh, because it reminds him of what Yeshua has accomplished in his body when he gave birth to us on the cross and we became the body of Christ. But before we go into all of that, I'm telling you there is a debt you cannot forget. My God, you can't forget it. This is a debt you cannot forget, absolutely cannot forget it, because you want to make sure that you want to make sure that you don't miss this powerful time of the God encounter. Kelly Susan again are teaming up for the last time this year. This is our last time to team up because we felt that there's a lot of ignorance in the body of Christ about serpents. Jesus in the Great Commission. Of Mark chapter 16, he says, Those that believe in my name, in my name, guess, check this out, they shall cast out devils, 
And then he said, they shall also cast out serpents. You see, we understand Matt of the church and the son's deliverance, casting out devils. But how many, how many in the church understand how to get rid of serpents? You'll be amazed I mean, how common serpents. Serpents are more often than not serpents are the reason your finances are chalked up. Serpents are the reason why you could be fighting. Things are being twisted in your life. They are, they are, they are, I mean, there's a lot of spiritual serpents that attack people in the dream dimension. But when they wake up, their life is messed up or something is going to happen with their health. I'm going to tell you, tell, Katie, Susan, and I are going to have one of the deepest uh, schools we've ever done on, on, uh, on serpents, particularly focusing on the two principalities in the serpent kingdom and winding the spirit of Python and Leviathan. It's going to be a school of deliverance because we're going to teach and then we're going to, kill, we're going to cast out devils. We're going to cast out serpents on that day. Jesus even talks about this. He says, Behold, I give you all power over all serpents. Why would Jesus give us power over serpents unless we're going to be dealing with some serpents in our lives? I'm telling you, we have seen people uh, get delivered from serpents and tumors disappear. You know, uh, certain pains they were having in the body, I mean, that they thought was natural, disappeared. You know, so we are believing God. You know, some of you, in your finances, Python is choking your finances, and Python is, could be choking even, even your marriage today. So we're going to be dealing with Python in marriage. You say Python what out of in marriage, Python squeezes the life out of, them, out, out of a marriage. But in finances, Python squeezes your finances until there's nothing left. You know, Leviathan. Oh my God, that is a that is a, that is a, that's a main one. That is the main one. So what are we saying? We are saying. December 16, by registration only, only a thousand seats. There's only a thousand seats. Please don't forget what I said. There's only a thousand seats. And you know from history, those thousand seats fill up very quickly. Kerry Souza is promoting this on television, on her YouTube, on her Facebook, whatever she goes. I'm doing the same. You better believe this is going to fill up very quickly. You can simply take a picture of the screen. And uh, or just take a put your phone over the QR the QR code, and the QR code will take you to the registration page for this school of deliverance. Amen. You know, or you can go to idosrod.com. Uh, that's another way you can get there and register. Don't miss your place to join us for unwinding the speed of Python and the Vatan school of deliverance. You have a lot a lot of time. I think you have about just over the month to make sure that you are part of that. So don't miss this. Don't miss this. It's going to be amazing as we deal with unwinding the spirit of Python and Leviathan School of Deliverance. So join us for that day. I'm so fired up. Kerry is on fire for this. I'm on fire for this. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now listen. Today we are dealing with one of the uh, one of my one of my, one of the books for one of the prayers from my books, Dangerous Prayers. Uh, I wrote a very I lost I, I wrote one of the, what has become one of the most um, what, what has become one of the most uh, well uh, uh, publicized books on the earth today. One of the most powerful books I've written uh, on authors is Dangerous Prayers, uh, Dangerous Prayers from the Courts of Heaven that Destroy Evil Authors. The prayers I'm going to pray today are coming from that book. But I'm going to transcend them and actually add more juice to it. But my God, we are getting testimonies from around the world. People are saying, I'm getting answers to prayer. Just I walk, says to the mouth, I don't leave dangerous prayers. It travels in my briefcase or my purse. Because anytime, you never know when I'm going to need a dangerous prayer to fight my way through something or pray for somebody I love or a friend. So again, you can grab your copy if you don't have one. Amen. Either on my website or even on Amazon. Uh, the Battle of Altars is another one. So these are the two. Actually, we set them as a bando. So you get a discount if you go to my website because you can buy them as a bando by the Spirit of God. But I'm telling you, we're going to be dealing with this powerful prayer today in Jesus' name. So again, if your marriage is in trouble, I want you to write in the comment section, my marriage is in trouble. Or you can say my sister's marriage is in trouble or my brother's marriage is in trouble. Because today we're going to start, we are going to stand by faith for every marriage that is under demonic onslaught, that the enemy has, de has determined is going to bring it down. 
Well, not, not under our watch. I don't know about you, but not under our watch. I believe by the Spirit of God that we can do something different. I believe by the Spirit of God that God can, can send a fresh wind of refreshment. May the evil wind uh, of, mar of, of sorrow in marriage be removed. May that evil wind that is causing sorrow to blow forth. So if that's you, say my marriage is in trouble or my brother's marriage is in trouble, or maybe your pastor's marriage is in trouble. You know what's going to happen. If a pastor goes through a divorce, it can impact the church. And I've seen churches where they never recovered. You know, they went through some major major pain because the, the man of God, they were following the marriage fell apart. So if you see, you know, maybe you want, you, want to, you want to say, daughter mouse, my pastor's marriage is in trouble. You know, we, whatever it is, you know, I, I want to be here. I want you to just in the comment section acknowledge that, make a decree, to, uh, make a decree by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah! I see that. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Okay. Look at that. So many people. Amen. Look at that. God is going to deliver you. Why? God spoke to me that today He's sending angels that are designed to rescue marriages. That's designed to drive away demons and serpents out of marriages that should make it, except for the devil. But I declare and decree that by next year, this time, your marriage will be on the other side of testimony. Your marriage will be on the other side of, 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 of sorrow, trouble, tribulation. You'll be talking about, look at what God has sent. You look back at this broadcast, to the mouth, I don't know what happened. But from that day, when you pray, there was a wind of restoration, a wind of understanding. I began to blow between me and my spouse. And my God, where we didn't even, where we did not even use to get along, my God, we are getting along very beautifully by the Holy Spirit. You know, oh, my husband has changed his mind. I had a, a woman, uh, I had a, a, a woman in Germany. Her husband was divorcing one of my daughters. She didn't know what to do, but she loved him, but she was going to force him to stay. But she didn't want their mind to break apart. So they began to divide property. There was something that he left at the house. He forgot at the house. And he called her, can I come over? I want to pick up this. As, she, as he was on, on, on his way to the house, the Lord told her, why don't you put a red ribbon at the entrance to your house? The Lord, why? Says, because that's jumping the line. Don't you believe in jumping the line? She's been following me and she's been part of the people that I've experienced the miraculous power of one of the spiritual technologies God has given Dr. Mount on breaking generational curses and genetic iniquity called jumping the bloodline. So she went and took a red ribbon, put it at the doorsteps of her house. You know, he was actually an, an intellectual, a scientist, an engineer. So he was not really a man of faith. He was very, he was, he was what, what, what I could call a nominal, very nominal Christian, very nominal. You know, all head and very little spirituality. You know, she was the most spiritual. She's the one that went for God, went to revival meetings. She was the one. But he was never about to leave her. Well, she comes back, he comes back, uh, crosses the bloodline, Entering the house, my God, he, he, he talked to her, how are you doing? Yeah, okay. Uh, we get, he, he, he collected what he, he came to collect. You know, he went back. It was, it was on a Sunday afternoon. Sunday night, he calls sheepishly. He said to the mouth, I picked up the, the phone. When I picked up the phone, she said, uh, he said to me, Oh, I, I know this this will sound awkward, but um, you know, uh, I hope it's not too late for us. And she said, What do you mean? He said, uh, after I came from seeing you this afternoon, I don't know. I just discovered I still love you. I just don't know where the love went. I, it suddenly is back in full force. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm doing here by myself and you're out there. Is there any room? Is there any is is there any possibility of our marriage being put back together? She began to cry. He began to cry. Wow. Well, listen, the next, the next time I saw them in Germany, he was not a nominal. After that, revival came to his life. I mean, revival came. He became a, he, I mean, he was, he was climbing the ladder of spirituality. And our marriage is still today. Is still. Seven years later, they are still together. The devil is a liar. I don't know who I'm talking to, but somebody is about to get a breakthrough in the area. In this area, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to bind the, the, the that out of marriage breakers, which consists some of the team members of the out of marriage breakers. The strife is that fighting over nonsense. 
you know, and then you forget you love each other. You you remember more the arguments than the than all the love and the romance that that that, that preceded it. Some of them are, are the members of the altar of the marriage breakers is a mistress, and you know the mistress and the secretaries, whatever. You know, some have called them the sextaries, whatever. Whatever they are, the devil, God is going to arrest that which is getting in the way of what God has ordained for you and your husband or your wife. You know, in Jesus' mighty name. I'm telling you, the love that has been uh, has been covered up, you know, by demonic shadows that you don't see it anymore. It will, it will come alive and, with, and, and the light of God will break out. And you will realize, oh my God, all the feelings that got you down that altar, that down down that aisle, all those feelings I prophesy will come back to you like a mighty river by the oracle of the prophet in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. So listen, let me just say something here. You know, in Genesis chapter two twenty four to twenty five, the Bible says, "For this reason, a man shall leave his father." And his mother, and shall be joined to his wife, to be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. They shall become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed or embarrassed. Wow. So, watch this. There was no, uh, they were not ashamed. So, I'm going to declare that God will bring back your marriage. I'm going to pray, I'm going to ask God to stamp your marriage with the original template for marriage that anything outside of this economy of marriage will begin to get out of your life in jesus mighty name i know that devils have been sponsoring demonic philosophies and systems and attitudes in your marriage that don't help it they kill it but today every philosophy every attitude in your marriage sponsored by the demonic powers will be removed in Jesus' name, by the Spirit of God. You know, pride is one of the main reasons why people divorce. Because even when they realize, oh my God, I still love my wife. I still love my, I still love my husband. But that pride of, well, you hurt me. Or she hurt me. You does not allow you just to say, you know what? I forgive you. You know, for, you know, you know, especially if he cheated or she cheated. You know what? I know it's painful. It's drastic. You know, but here's the bottom line. I know many people who have come up, who have come who, are, who have literally gone from an affair that almost killed the marriage to a marriage ministry, casting out devils, in, I mean, counseling couples, and the love between them is supernatural. My God can do anything. He ordained this institution of marriage. You see, there's no institution that is more important this side of heaven than the institution of, of marriage. God designed it to model the deepest level of intimacy and covenant that can exist between two people, you know, and most importantly, it was marriage was designed to be a reflection of the intimacy that will exist and forever exist between Jesus Christ and the bride he died and bled for on the cross. You know, unfortunately, Satan knows this mystery. He knows this mystery that marriage was ordained to carry the glory of God. Marriage was ordained to carry the dreams and the destinies of your children and people who are looking around it. Marriage is supposed to be a tree that shelters even strangers who come around you. You know, the devil knew that, the mystery of it, that he there's nothing he fights. You know, that's why divorce has become rampant in the Western Hemisphere. Now it's coming to Africa. Africa, we used to hear about divorces at the alarming rate in the Western world, but that spirit is now in Africa, Europe. God forgive us. God help us. But I'm here to tell you there's a revival. There's about to be a revival of marriages, a revival of men and women staying together in Jesus' name. I'm even seeing God visiting your angels, visiting your spouse, literally. I, I'm telling you, you know, someone said God will scare the hell out of them. I'm telling you, God is going to meet with them in such a way he will, scare, he will scare the hell out of them, amen, and show them what is possible. Trust me, he will show them the lies of the enemy. And, uh, and and he will reintroduce them. He will reintroduce them to the emotions, the feelings that the enemy convinced them they lost. The devil is a liar. Come on, somebody. The devil is a liar. In Jesus' mighty name, I just declare that. I just declared by the Holy Spirit. The devil is a liar. Why do I say he's a liar? He's a liar because, you know, the counsel of the Lord shall stand. The counsel of the Lord shall always stand.
you know, it shall always what? Stand. Understand that. The counsel of the Lord shall always what? Stand. What do I mean? It shall stand because it's, it, it, you know, God is not a man that should lie. You know, he'll do what he said he's going to do. Okay, he's going to do what he said he's going to do. Hallelujah. So just get ready. Understand that the Lord is not a man that should lie. And today he sent the prophet. You know me. Amen. You know me. God, uh, God does not uh, bring me to YouTube uh, and Facebook to go alive, you know, come live and just play with you. I really, really pray about this prayer marathons. Why? Because I understand that the problems you face are not jokes. There's real pain involved. And some of you, they are children who are caught up in the crossfire. You know, the devil, and then the devil is alive. And plus, divorce is very financially destructive. You start to share uh, good, uh, uh, you start ripping apart the assets God gave you. And before you know it, 40% went to some stupid lawyer who doesn't even care about you guys. You know, the devil is a liar in Jesus' man. I'm, I'm believing God. And God did not uh, inspire me like he did today to come to you guys, you know, and not know that he can do it for you. I believe the Lord is going to do it for you by the Spirit of God in Jesus' mighty name. So get ready to just to see God move like never before. Just get ready for God is going to do it by his Spirit. He's going to do it by his Spirit. So get ready because we're going to begin to pray in a short while. I'm very excited to be able to pray for you. I'm looking at the comments that are here. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So I wanted to write this. I wanted to write this statement in uh, this statement in the comment section. God will say, just, just write this comment in the comment section. A, you know, a marriage made in heaven is mine. Make it possessive. A marriage made in heaven is mine. Now, if you are single, do it too. Why? Because if you are single and you are believing God for, uh, for, for your Isaac or your Ruth, hello, you want to be able to get this anointing ahead of time. You know, so just write in the comments of my a marriage, a marriage made in heaven is mine. A marriage made in heaven is mine. Hallelujah. Make it, say it, declared by the Holy Ghost. Now, come on now. I'm telling you, the Bible says you shall decree a thing. You shall decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you, said the Lord. You know, the light of God will be released by your decree, and it shall establish your ways. That's what the book of Job says. So get ready. Yeah, I see you. Come on now, I see you there. Hallelujah. People are claiming that. They are making it some decrees. Come on now. Hallelujah. You better declare it. You better declare it. I'm telling you. They are, they, are, they are miracles of decree. A marriage made in heaven is mine. Hallelujah. That's a decree. Well, as you are typing it, guess what? The, the, books of, the books of remembrance are being opened. Some of you, the Lord knows, is a, ma is a major statement of faith. Because right now your marriage is anything but made in heaven. There's warfare, there's misunderstanding, there are fights, you know, there's no romance. But I'm telling you, a marriage made in heaven is about to be released over your life. How do I know this? Because I'm a prophet. The Lord does nothing without revealing, revealing his secrets to his servant, the prophet. And as a Samuel type of prophet, I'm telling you, the Lord sent me to you today to go live. And declare by as an oracle of God that the fresh wind is coming over your marriage and the evil wind and all the strife and the attitudes of hatred, you know, self, you know, uh, spousal contempt. You, 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 you know, you despise him. He despises you. Listen, all that that came with the evil wind, because those attitudes were not there before. Where they've come from. They have been transported into your life by the evil wind, you know, by, 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 by the assets that are, that are under the service of the evil altar of marriage breakers. But today, by the Spirit of God, God who loves marriages, God whose idea it was for marriage to be a shelter for destiny, is going to deliver you today by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. I don't care what your husband ate that caused him to change his heart. You know, sometimes, you know, you know, what people eat, you know, the enemy can put a lot of stuff. So I declare that if your husband or your wife, you know, was fed something demonic, 
you know, in the natural or even in dreams that uh, was weaponized to cause them to change their attitude, their heart towards you in marriage, and all of a sudden, the, the affection they had for you begins to disappear. You know, I declare and decree today, I command them to vomit out, that I command the whole, I command them to vomit it out. I declare that whatever they, whatever demonic program that they ate, you know, in food, naturally or in a dream, that is influencing their behavior, will be vomited out. It will come out of them by the Spirit of God. And the emotions, the feelings that have been was stolen by witchcraft, by divination, by the working of devils, will return in Jesus' mighty name. Mandarabakatobo. Hallelujah. I'm excited, saints. I'm really excited about this. I'm really, really excited about this in Jesus' mighty name. So now, I want you to pray this prayer after me. Those that are here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pray a prayer for marriages right now. When I finish that prayer, amen, I'm going to come back. Uh, at the, la the last prayer I'm going to pray before I, bro I close the broadcast is a general prayer for breakthrough, you know, because, you know, you may need other areas. And, and I'll tell you the time when to tell me what you're dealing with, then I can pray for that. So there are two prayers today in the prayer marathon, but I'm beginning with the main one, which is why I advertise this particular feed is to overthrow the evil altars of marriage breakers. So whatever you are, I want you to, to pray this prayer after the man of God. Pray this prayer after me in the name of Jesus. And if you are doing it on behalf of somebody, your, your sister, your brother, your cousin, whose marriage is, is, has become like hell here on earth or just very difficult, you can speak on their behalf. You can say, Lord, on the behalf of. You, you can repeat after me. But if it's your marriage, you can just be direct because it's your marriage you're believing God for by the Spirit of God. So right now, I want you to say this after me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, I want to say, Heavenly Father and righteous judge. I thank you for your eternal goodness. I thank you that marriage is not my idea. My, I, my marriage was designed by a God who doesn't lie. And Lord, you did not design marriage to become the bed of sorrows. So Heavenly Father, by faith, I step in the court of heaven to bring a lawsuit in the spirit before the ancient of days against the demonic entities, human messengers of Satan, even uh, those who are responsible for affairs. I'm asking that by the blood of Jesus, all of these entities will be summoned before the court of heaven. To appear before the righteous judge. For the evil. They are inflicting on my marriage. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. As I stand before you. I be, I'm believing you Lord. To overthrow. And demolish. The evil altar of marriage breakers. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, Heavenly Father and righteous. you said in your word, you said in your word marriage, is marriage is honorable in all, but adulterers and fornicators, God will judge. So, Heavenly Father, I'm asking for justice against any evil entity and human agents who are working with the demonic powers. To bring hell into my marriage. That they shall not be held guiltless. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. As I stand before the Supreme Court of Heaven. Heavenly Father. It is written. And now. It is written. In Psalm 27 verse 6. It is written. 
in Psalm 27, verse 6. And now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. Heavenly Father, based upon the scripture, I petition the ancient of this court to give me a verdict of release from this demonic onslaught against my marriage. That the head of my marriage that my marriage will be lifted above our uh, above its enemies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. May the books of uh, may the may the may the books the may the books of destiny be open. Lord, I'm asking that I, I'm asking, oh God, that the court of heaven would be reminded concerning the books of my destiny. That contain the goodness of God, not the bread of sorrows that the enemy has introduced in my marriage. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, I thank you, Holy Spirit, that I call upon your holy angels to be witnesses and enforcers concerning my suit against the evil altar. Of marriage breakers and every supervising spirit that is connected to this evil altar. I declare and declare that this evil altar of marriage breakers and all the supporting entities that are connected to this evil altar will not break my marriage or the marriages of my family members. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. According to 1 John chapter 2. Verse 1 to 2. The Bible says. My little children. These things I write unto you. So that you may not sin. And if anyone sins. We have an advocate with the father. Christ Jesus the righteous. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. As I make a suit. Against all these demonic entities. Human messengers. And the evil art of marriage breakers. I surrender. My rights to self-representation. I surrender. My rights to self-representation. Instead, Lord, I'm asking for Yeshua, my advocate, to represent me as my advocate in the courts of heaven for the marriage the devil and his cohorts want to destroy. May Yeshua plead my case before the righteous judge. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. As I stand in your royal courtroom. As I, stand in your royal courtroom I present myself as a living sacrifice. I myself before, the Lord. before the Lord. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. I now ask you to summon in Jesus name. The altar of marriage breakers. And all, and all its supporting entities. Into the courtroom of heaven to face the judgment of God for all the work the work of the enemy for every assault that has come up against my marriage in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every principality, every prince demon assigned to ransack my marriage must now come under a divine warrant of arrest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as I exercise my God-given authority in Christ Jesus to tread on serpents and on scorpions in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. 
Heavenly Father and righteous judge. I, pe I, I petition the court based upon what is written in 1 John 3 verse 8. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the work of the devil. So Heavenly Father and righteous judge, based upon this scripture, I'm asking God for the power of the Holy Spirit to prevail against the powers of the demonic, against the power of the evil mistress, against the power of the, of, of the marriage breakers. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, male or female, may the power of the Holy Spirit prevail Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus. heavenly Father and righteous judge, Father, I, recognize I recognize that Satan, that Satan has, to right to has to have a legal right to attack. So Lord, so Lord I, come I come into agreement with the adversary, the adversary. Concerning, any concerning any iniquity, any transgression, any transgression. In, my in my bloodline, where members of my bloodline or myself we are responsible for marriage breaking in the past. And the enemy is using that as a legal right to destroy my marriage. I ask that the blood of Jesus would cleanse me and my bloodline from any legal right given to Satan to ransack our marriages in our bloodline. In Jesus' name I pray. Heavenly Father, I petition the blood of Jesus to be my expert witness to speak for me in the courts of heaven that I have been forgiven in Jesus' mother name. Heavenly Father, now that I've been forgiven of anything I have in common with the kingdom of darkness that Satan can use against me, I petition the Ancient of Days Court to silence every accusation of Satan against me in the courts of heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father and Righteous Judge, every legal standing of the accuser against my marriage or that of my loved one is now made null and void in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Son of the living God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, I thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus that wipes that, that, that wipes my slate clean in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for wiping away all of Satan's evidence. All of Satan's evidence against me is, is, wiped out is wiped out by the blood of Yeshua, blood of Yeshua. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, judge. I now petition you to dismiss, now petition you to dismiss all, of all of Satan's charges and accusations in Jesus' name. In Jesus. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, Heavenly Father and righteous. I'm asking for you to send holy angels I'm for you to, send holy to overthrow and destroy the evil altar of marriage breakers and all the all entities connected to this evil altar. Every entity, human or the human or, or celestial, that is connected to this evil altar of marriage breakers. Lord, I thank you for your holy angels who are now being deputized to destroy and overthrow this evil altar. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. I, 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 list, I, I, I petition you, Lord. I petition you, Lord. To release a fresh wind of the Holy Spirit. To swallow every evil wind. That began to blow into my marriage. Lord, reverse the, reverse the power of every evil wind. 
that brought attitudes of unforgiveness, anger, uh, uh, strife, misunderstanding in my marriage with my spouse. Heavenly Father, I declare and declare that as the wind of the Holy Spirit blows afresh over my marriage or that, or that of my loved ones, that which came with the evil wind is removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, I ask for a warrant of arrest concerning any human being who is having an affair with my spouse or any human being, the tempter, the temptress or the tempter who wants to go after my marriage partner any man or woman who's after my spouse, Lord, I'm asking for a divine warrant of arrest against them. A divine restraining order put in place against them. And Lord, I'm asking that every form of witchcraft that has bewitched the heart and the eyes, that has bewitched the, uh, the heart, the eyes, and the ears, of my spouse, may it be removed now in the name of Jesus. And I ask, oh God, that you'd restore, you'd restore how they saw me in their eyes when we first met, how they, 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 how they responded to things I said when we first met in Jesus' mother name. I declare and decree that there is a change of heart supernaturally. You are the only one who can change the human heart. So ancient of days, I petition that you take the stony heart out of my spouse and return to them supernaturally a heart of flesh in the name of Jesus the Son of a Living God. Lord, I declare, I declare that my petition has been heard before the court of God and the verdict has been rendered of release for my marriage in Jesus' mighty name. To God be the glory. Amen. Now, if you have prayed that prayer, I'm just going to seal it. Now, you don't have to pray after me. I'm just going to pray this in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I thank you now. Now that your, your sons and daughters all over the world have prayed that courtroom prayer, that they have settled all the legalities that were up against them in the realm of the spirit that the demonic powers were using, that the art of marriage breakers was using, and its network of demonic entities or human agents, I declare that now that their case has been heard, now that the verdict has been rendered in the courts of heaven of release, I declare and declare that every serpent and spirit that has been hissing witchcraft in the ears, in the ears of their spouse, of any spouse, of their spouses are now removed and rebuked in Jesus' mighty name. I declare and decree uh, by the God of heaven. I declare and decree by the rod of a superior priesthood. I'm declaring as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command, I command, I command the arrest of every every woman or man that is going after the uh, the spouse lord i declare every i declare that every mistress who's going after a man that's already married to one of your daughter i declare that they be arrested in jesus name and i declare lord every man who's going after a daughter that's already married to take her from the man you have given, I declare that, Lord, they'll be arrested. Lord, in Jesus' name, let them be arrested. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray, oh God, that you make it impossible for them to enjoy the pleasures of sin, even for the moment. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray that you make the affair like wormwood. Make the affair like wormwood. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That the more they listen to the voice of the mistress, or the more the, the more they listen to the voice of the tempter, my God, the more they'll feel like they just had wormwood, and they will know I'm not supposed to move in this direction. In Jesus' name, I declare and I prophesy that a fresh understanding is coming between the spouses that were estranged that were fighting all the time i say strife go in jesus name you spirit of misunderstanding go in jesus name lord i even ask that you overthrow the influence of leviathan over marriages that are shaking what well, has been a twisting of what the one the other one says and when one says one thing the other one hears something else and they begin to fight i declare that the influence of leviathan is being removed by the lord himself in jesus name i appeal to the god of heaven himself the ancient of days through the blood of his son jesus in the mighty name of jesus to remove the tentacles of Leviathan over any marriage that is under assault. Even those who are separated, bring them back together by the Holy Ghost. Let there be, let their let the heart of stone become a heart of flesh. Let the eyes be thawed out, and there will be a flaw that has been missing for a long time. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release the miracle of forgiveness between couples that all of a sudden they'll begin to get the grace to forgive each other. In Jesus' name, even while there was an affair and uh, the one who, 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 who committed the affair has been repentant, but the one who the affair was against, Lord, they can bring themselves to forgive their spouse and the unforgiveness is killing everything. But yet in their heart of hearts, they still want to be men, remain married. Lord, I command the spirit of unforgiveness to go in the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there's several of you, yes, you are cheated on, but in your heart of heart, you know that you want to stay married. You know, he's been begging or she's been begging for forgiveness. And the Lord says you need to forgive. Just remember, whatever they did to you does not even compare to what you, our sins, did to Jesus. You know, they didn't care. At least, they, you know, it didn't even come close. Think about it. If you are having a difficult time forgiving them, just think of how much Jesus has forgiven you, has forgiven you. If the Lord had to require payment, from you and I, for every sin we've committed, we are tossed, okay? So I'm finding there are some people. I know it's painful to find out that somebody you trusted I cheated on you, but it happens. It happens. It has happened because we are flesh, and sometimes people open up. Sometimes people are vulnerable. Sometimes a temptress knows how to work a game. Whatever it is. You need to give your marriage another chance. I don't know. If you are the one I'm talking to, I want you to write in the comment section, you are talking about you. You are talking about me. Just write down. You know, just when you say that, God will begin to give you the grace to let it go. It, it's been traumatic, but God wants to heal your soul from the trauma of the cheating, the betrayal, okay? But God says you, he's, on, he's on his knees. She's on her knees. And the Lord said the truth of the matter is, if you let go of the unforgiveness, I will give you what you have always wanted, a marriage made here on earth. Okay? So if that is you, I want you to say, man of God, yeah, I say that. You're talking about me. You're talking about me. That, I, I'm no God because I'm a prophet. I say these things. I hear them in my ears very clearly. Okay? It is time to go home and say, no, baby, we're starting over. You know? Hug him, kiss him, love him, whatever. You know, you can believe it. Give him the unconditional love he's been begging for. All right? And then act tomorrow like you never did it. Because when you forgive, you can't go back to it. Keep pounding. No, baby, you need it. Because some of you, your unforgiveness is pushing him towards Jezebel. You don't want Jezebel to see the, the opportunity and get what belongs to you. Because I'm telling you, there could be a marriage ministry to couples beyond the affair, if you give the Lord a chance to work it out. Yes, he can. Oh, yes, he can. You know, so right now, the grace to let it go and the pain and the trauma that came with it is now. Does it let it go? So I want you now, if you, if it's you, now I want you to write in the comment section, I let it go in Jesus' name. Just those words, typing them out is powerful. Remember, 
We have the written word. That we, the Bible is why we're being changed. Don't tell me the written word has no power. Write it down. You know, just say, write it down. Just write it down. You know, I let it go in Jesus' name. And watch God release it. Watch God release it. You know, and I know people who, who say, we recently divorced. I, I have seen people divorce. Divorce is just a paper until they are remarried. The only time I tell people to move on is if they are remarried. If they are remarried, you know, God will give you somebody somebody else, you know, and you make sure that you get your portion your portion in life. You know, that is the truth. So maybe if he's married, if he's already married, we don't want to do witchcraft and ask for another marriage to be broken down. You know, if he's re, if, he, if you are divorced, it's already divorced. What I mean but is remarried. But if he's not remarried, listen, I have seen it happen where they, they just tore the papers, they came back together because there was a miracle. I'm telling you, God needs the mouth of the prophet to get miracles. This is, that's what I do. When I come here, I don't heal marriages. Jesus does. But what he needs from me is my alignment and then to use my prophetic office because I'm a prophet by calling. I'm an apostle and prophet by calling. So God fine-tunes my grace to bring forth deliverance in a big way. So again, I say it, I say it. I let it go. My God, there's so many. I let it go. Let it go. But I mean, don't just let it go. Tell him you let it go. Tell her or tell him you let it go, you know, and then begin to treat them like they are queen. Like they, I mean, if he's a husband, treat him like he's the best, he's a king in the house. If you if it's if, if it's your wife who did it to your brother, treat her like a queen. She deserves to be. I mean, listen, they are guilty now. And they realize, my God, what did I do? But the guilt can is eating both of you up. Let it go. You want forgiveness for you, the guilt for them. But when you really forgive them, watch what's going to happen. God said, watch what I'm going to do. And you are going to know I am God. And besides me, there is no other in Jesus' mighty name. Wow. Now listen. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things coming together here that are very, very powerful. Ah, oh, hallelujah. But listen, before I, I, I pray the final general prayer for breakthrough, for anybody who's uh, now, this is for anything. Everything goes here. I want to pray. Before I do that, I want you to watch this. Don't go anywhere, and I'll be right back in Jesus' mighty name to pray a general breakthrough prayer for everybody on different matters you are dealing with. I'm gonna pray for something special on your life. But check this out, and I'll be. Revelation is what you need. It will be a joyous experience. It will be something you cannot wait to do. See, whatever the enemy fights, it's what he fears the most. This Melchizedek, this, as distinguished from any other person who may have won the title in any way as a prophetic, even as a prophetic allegory, this one that met Abraham, your father, was without mother and without father. He's without end of life or beginning of days. Angels are the beginning of days. There's at least 76 times where the Bible talks about that God is the judge of all the earth. So therefore, we're talking about the courts of heaven that is in the spiritual realm, not in the natural realm. Darkness has prophetic backing to express itself in these last days. But the light of God will shine on some people. Those people are lights in Him. Focus on the light. Your job is to ignore all this darkness and focus on that light. And it's only a matter of time you find that light growing. The supernatural is a byproduct of the kingdom. And really, it is not the supernatural. It's natural for us because in the Garden of Eden before the fall, it was naturally supernatural. It was called glory. It says he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And if you say it at the audacity to do, say, Lord, you said, I'm holding on to what you said, and you do it for me. But for anybody, you said it, I believe it. A man who does not have intimacy with God will first of all not touch life. And even if he touches it, he will not grow in life. The quality of his life will not be enhanced. When a man begins to walk with God closely and in intimacy, his life and his life force begins to blossom. 
men and women of wisdom, knowledge and understanding. We have to launch you in the air to war in heavenly places. The war, the battle, the fight. You have no idea. Some of you may have an idea of the battle we have to face. This flesh must die for you to excel in the moves of God. Uh -huh. Then watch how the fruit of the Spirit will show up in your life. Your name be lifted high. Hallelujah. We bow down and worship. You reign forever, King of the King. Wow, hallelujah. Well, listen, this is amazing. So this this December, we are going to be having a very powerful time. It's really a big investment and level of love for the African, you know, for me and for the African continent, our ministry. So listen, uh, that's called the King's Conference. The King's Conference with some of the most powerful voices Africa has ever raised. You know, Bishop Tudor Bismarck speaks for T.D. Jakes, Broad Pasley, who has a Apostle Michael Rockpo. My God, these guys are, 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 are voices that if you hear them once, you, you'll you be hearing them again and again. Uh, Dr. Ola Kuna Sorian, Dr. Jason Renville, Re Reverend Hill, and a glory expert. What am I trying to say? I said, literally, we are going, this is a one conference that we are literally going to be giving. We're giving away for free. So if you want to register to be part of the conference, uh, the King's Conference, you want to literally go to events.francismiles.com, events.francismiles.com, and you can register there uh, so that you don't miss the live stream. Uh, and then for those who live in Zambia, in Zambia, it's going to be at the Mulungushi International Conference Center. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's, go it's going to be, it's going to be um, uh, December 6th to the 10th. I believe it's December 6th to the 10th. Uh, you cannot afford to miss it. All, those, all my international followers live stream so that we have you in a database and then you can get the live stream. It will be professionally live streamed and you don't want to miss any session that is going to be uh, made available to you. So there is no, there is, this, is, um, this is my gift to you. But I'm also asking that you think of Dr. Miles. Literally, um, I need your help. So I want those who like to sow in the King's Conference. I'm asking for you to sow a seed into the King's Conference in Africa about the Spirit of God. I'm asking if you could pray about sowing $100 or more, $100 or more into the King's Conference to help me with my budget because we are financing this out of Africa with a very tight budget, you know, and we need God to help us, you know. And so please, if you would think about, you know, hey, Make it your end of year, give part of your end of year giving, whatever. Or maybe you can do more. Maybe some of you, you know, uh, I'm $20,000 short of where I need to be. But I know by December, the Lord would have, Lord, the Lord always rescues me when I do the work of the Lord. I'm not doing for Francis Miles. I want, God told me, go disciple Africa. That's what I'm doing. Okay. And when you help me, you're part of discipling Africa and whatever. Uh, happens, uh, guess what? We become partakers of the same harvest in the realm of the spirit, in the name of the, in the realm of the spirit. So I, I'm really asking that, uh, uh, that you pray about it. You pray about, uh, you pray about uh, sowing a seed. Okay. And all I need for you is, uh, you know, when, in, when you are sowing your seed in the seed memo, I want you to, in the seed memo, I want you to simply uh, name your seed King's Conference. You know, King's Conference, you know, if you put King's Conference, then my accountants will know that that's dedicated for the conference in Africa in December. Help me disciple thousands. You know, uh, hallelujah. You know, we could have charged for the conference, you know, but then you would have made it difficult for some people in the country of Africa who don't have the resources some of us have around the world to come and hear a rich, life-changing word. So the only way we can do things is when God raises destiny helpers who care about Dr. Miles and what God is calling me to do around the world. 
so I can give the conference and the live stream for free. The live stream is my way of saying uh, thank you for all my donors in the US, Australia, Canada, UK, Europe, and Africa and South Africa. I do have some good donors as well rising in Africa, Zimbabwe, uh, Uganda, Kenya is really rising. So saints, listen, you, you know, if you, if you believe in the man of God, uh, I want you to pray about it, but, but you can give any seed of any amount towards King's Conference. But I'm asking if you could prayerfully consider sowing $100 or more into the King's Conference. And if God has given you more, we we'll really appreciate it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But I know if 200 people give $100, that would be 20000 and I'm already there, and I'm out of, my, I'm out of the woods. Amen. Uh, when the conference arrives, I'll just be enjoying myself. Hallelujah, drinking water and just enjoying the word with zero, a zero, zero uh, concerns about the finances because I want to go into this conference with everything paid for. That's what I'm believing God for. So if you want to join me, so I see it, uh, and you appreciate this ministry, maybe you can do that by the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you don't have anything to give, pray for us greatly. Fast three days, one day, two days. My God, the effect of faith and prayer of the righteous availeth much. Amen, by the Spirit of the Lord. But I also pray that anybody, but I'm also going to pray over the seed. So, Father, I pray that even as this is the King's Conference, that for anybody that sows a seed of any amount in obedience to you, Jesus, Lord, I'm praying for an elevation in the level of their kingly anointing. This will be a conference designed to activate the kingly anointing in marketplace believers. So, Father, I declare and declare that that is the anointing of the conference. That is the agenda of the conference. So that is the soil of the conference. I'm praying, God, as men and women saw into it, let there be a rising in the water level of their kingly anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, listen, we're going to pray a general prayer because I do know there are some of you who are just have God specific requests that have not related to marriage. And so I'm going to look at some comments here. I just want to pray a breakthrough prayer. Thank you. Oh, my friend, Duble Travilord. <laughs> Love you, Beth. <laughs> In Hawaii, just for the $100. Thank you, my brother. Love you. Man, you're suffering for the Lord in Hawaii, man. I, I give a shout out to you. If you're going to suffer for the Lord, it better be in Hawaii, man. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just love uh, my friend. My, I've got so many destiny helpers, so many people that love our ministry. Oh, Prophet David Oyoro. Love you, man. Come on, Prophet. Thank you. Just went in the courtroom this morning for my marriage. Look at that, Prophet. I'm telling you, the end of the Lord is upon you. I'm going to be calling you. Because I like to pray over you and your wife, because I know I have influence over both of your lives. Amen. I'm going to use my influence for you. So, again, saints, join me. I'm looking for 200 people. That's not a lot of people. 200. Do you know, 200 people. I have thousands of followers on YouTube. So, get into 200 people who can give those amounts of $100 for the King's Conference Africa. I'm truly appreciating. So, King's Conference, we will know that you're given. This is designated. Oh, man. Uh, we just bought a building. Uh, we are in, in Georgia, where we'll be, our headquarters is going to be. So that building is taking a lot of the resources we have at headquarters. So I'm trying to be wise not to deplete to deplete the coffers, the reserve coffers we have, uh, because now that we have a building, we have a we have a, 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 a headquarters for Francis Mouse International in Atlanta, Georgia. We want to prepare it. We are cleaning it up. We are changing the. We are raising the roofs. Because there will be a, I'll be coming right on Zoom to to announce the day we are going to do um, the ribbon cutting. We're gonna give you, I'm, I want to give you two months in advance because I want some of you to fly to Atlanta, be with me for the ribbon cutting ceremony. And I'm telling you, everybody who comes, I'm going to lay hands on you and prophesy. I'm going, to, I'm going to lay hands on you and prophesy in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> Hallelujah. But so because of that, you know, and one of, wanting to be good stewards, we have having to raise the money. We are well, out of Africa, and we thank God for out of Africa, but also any discretionary funds that, I'm give, that, that my donors give me, my board of directors told me I can have that. I mean, I, I can have that. I can always have a discretionary fund that you give because at Francis Mouse International, 
We never take money you give for something and use it for something else. So if it's designated, it stays there. If it's not designated, then we have a little bit, we have a little bit of liberty, but we're good stewards of what is coming in. But if it's designated, trust me, what, what you're sowing into is what we're going to use it for. Amen. Now, where are we? What are, where are we? So now, hallelujah. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. My God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, and by the way, I just heard this from the Lord. This is on marriage again. But I'm, I'm just going to pray because I just heard it, so I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for every marriage out there that is in trouble because of a spirit husband or a spirit wife troubling the marriage and causing a change in attitude in the name of Jesus, creating havoc, creating havoc because a spirit entity, a Nephilim spirit in the dream dimension is claiming the woman or the man or a spouse and pushing back the actual God-given spouse. I rebuke those demonic water spirits. I rebuke those Nephilim spirits. Come out, you waters, you, you demonic uh, water spirits. I command you, uh, spirit husbands and spirit wives. I say, you, I, I, I declare that even as it was illegal for the angels to marry the children of men in Genesis chapter 6, I declare to you, it's still illegal for spirits to claim men in marriage. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your activity in the dreams is illegal. And I, I cast you out. I cast you out in Jesus' name, out of the life of any, of any man and woman whose marriage is being oppressed by these entities, spirit wife, spirit husband. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ, never to appear in the dream to molest them sexually, never to appear in the dream to fight their spouses. In the name of Jesus, never to operate to cause them to be distant, to feel distant emotionally from their spouses. The devil is a liar. Get out in Jesus' name. I had to do that, man. That came by the Holy Ghost right there. My God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay. Now. Sense, I'm going to give you about 10 more minutes before I close this prayer call. So for the next 10 minutes, I uh, send me just on the, on the comments, put prayer requests, anything but marriage. I'm done with marriage now. Okay? I want to just take 10 minutes to pray over general prayer requests of things you are dealing with. So write down. Okay. Okay. Alcohol addi break alcohol addiction. Okay? Break alcohol addiction. Okay? I see that. All right. Break alcohol addiction. What else? Amen. Someone said to the mouse. Amen. I urgently need a financial breakthrough. Okay, Amalia. Okay, by the oracle of God, you get it in Jesus' name. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? Anything but marriage. Anything but marriage. I want to request. Okay, husband's ears. Husband's ears to be healed. Anything but marriage. Anything but marriage being healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. All right. Somebody saying the PayPal. The PayPal in my website is, isn't working, isn't working. Let me do something here. For those who are in Africa, I'm going to give you a WhatsApp number, okay? I'm going to give you a WhatsApp number that you can, you, can, you can text and say, hey, I want to give to Dr. Miles, but I can't give online the way or with all the different methodologies. We will call you and we'll give you an African way of giving to the ministry by wire transfer. We actually did that today for two people from Eswatini, that's Swaziland, who are begging to give. They wanted to give, but they couldn't. Uh, our system, whatever, what, whatever. Most people get through, but some people don't. So I'm going to give you, amen. Uh, okay. Uh, WhatsApp giving. I'm going to call this WhatsApp. And it, but in the meantime, keep it put in the comment section uh, what you are believing God for. Anything but marriage. Okay. Amen. Anything but marriage. I want you to. Uh, amen. Anything but marriage. I want you by the Spirit of the Lord. I want you by the Spirit of the Lord to 
uh, by the Spirit of the Lord. I want you, by the Spirit of the Lord, to just put them on the on the comment section because I'm going to be calling you out when I begin to pray in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. Here we go. Hallelujah. I just want to give you this number so you have it. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is your, for those who are in Africa, this is your WhatsApp. Uh, that's how you can you can send a message to this WhatsApp number. It's about to go up on the screen. And uh, yes, WhatsApp number. And then my office will call you from Africa. I have an office in Africa that's very robust. They are here from 8 a.m. in the morning to 5 o'clock. So they can deal with that anytime. Okay, so that's WhatsApp giving for Africa. So WhatsApp giving for Africa. You use that number. You use that number. Amen. You use that number by the Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That is my, uh, amen. That is my, my assistant, Chewe. Amen. She will be the one that would deal with that. So that is a WhatsApp number you can reach us on, you know, and say you can call it or you can text it and say, hey, uh, I, I want to give to Dr. Miles. I want to sow a seed, but because I'm in Africa, I'm having problems doing it online, even though we have different ways of giving. But for those of you, who can give by the different ways, uh, uh, you can, not a problem. But if you need to give the uh, in a different way, you know, in Africa, whether by Western Union or by money transfer, then call that number and we'll talk to you and then wake up a plan. Praise the Lord. And then we'll, in Jesus' mighty name, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. So let's see what else. Okay. Divine, what, what, is, what is this person saying now? Okay, what is this? Is, okay, there are different things. Okay, I need a, I need a job um, for me not 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 to be missed at work. It's an evil cycle from job to job. Father, I cancel that evil cycle over Gloria in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Okay, Renea, house to get sold for more uh, than she expects. I declare, Father, that that house. I declare the house sold for more than she expected in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Uh, Veda, I command business expansion for you in the name of Jesus. Okay, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, Rayana, I declare that God will open a door for you to have your own preschool in the name of Jesus. Okay, Fumi, uh, financial breakthrough, and I declare not only over you, every man and woman under the sound of my voice, I need a financial breakthrough. I ask the angel of finance to visit you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody needs a healing in their shoulder. Right now, in Jesus' name, look at that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody. Okay, Pauline, pray for my children's exams to go well. I declare right now that your children exams, I pray for the, for the spirit of remembrance to come upon you and even healing for your little daughter in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. By the spirit of God. Look at that. Okay, Jacqueline, witchcraft to be destroyed over all your family members. May the God who destroys witchcraft remember you today in Jesus' mighty God. Shalom. Amen. Your desire to hear from the Lord, from God clearly. I declare, I declare your ears and everybody who desires to hear from the Holy Spirit, I command your ears open in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, hallelujah. Uh, breakthrough in business. Anybody who needs breakthrough in business, as an oracle of God, I declare it in Yeshua's mighty name, let there be in Jesus' name. Okay, Kezia, victory and closure of land case. Lord, I declare that there will be victory and the closure of the land case. There will be victory and the closure of the land case in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. There will be a closure in the land case. Anybody with, who needs a real estate miracle, I, I, I declare that Kezia will be their point of contact right now. Anybody who needs a miracle, I declare they receive it right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And God to open the spiritual eyes, Sarah, of your of your family. So anybody who needs your family member's spiritual eyes to be opened because they are living in, in darkness, may they be ear open in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Kathy, may God heal, heal the ears of your husband in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Jen, I'm believing for healing from fibroid, cysts, and growth. I may they die in your body in Jesus' name. May your earth body actually vomit the cysts, the fibroids. In Jesus' mighty name, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Just as a, as a side note, you know, castor oil works, works wonders towards fibrosis and growth. Castor oil, it really works wonders by the Spirit of God.
just so you know. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Hello. Pray for God to deliver me from moving objects inside my entire body and monitoring spirits. My God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this tormentation of Angela, in Jesus' name, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. In Jesus' name, Lord, I, I, Lord, I, I gave a bill of divorcement from every occultic contract or dedication that she suffered as a child, that I declare that contract did be dissolved in Jesus' name, and every morning that his spirit and things is fighting be removed. Ah, Makaraba Keterebosat. Krista, the land homes to come now for the Goshen and kingdom purpose of God. I declare people who don't have houses, you are always renting. May God take you from renting to own your house, owning your house. Receive this grace in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Glory to Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Nikki, hearing from my sister's back that's deteriorating. Father, I declare that everybody with the back condition uh, with, with deteriorating discs, let there be a restoration because of the oracle of God. Your servant has spoken and Lord will perform it in Jesus' name. To God be God. To God be the glory in Jesus' mighty, uh, mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Look at that salvation for my children. Lord, for every person right now who is believing God for salvation, for their children, their father, their mother, or their loved ones, I declare that the spirit of salvation, Holy Spirit, arrest every unsaved member of the families of the men and women that are listening to me right now. Arrest every unsaved family member by the spirit of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Danete, mental healing for loved ones. Lord, anyone suffering from schizophrenia or any mental challenge of any kind or the demonic powers, I command those demons, get out in Jesus' name. Lord, let them come out. Lord, in this same hour, the evil spirit leaves them. In this same hour, let the spirit uh, 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 touch them in Jesus' name. Lord, anybody believing God for career breakthrough, Promotion after promotion, I declared. Anyone whose career is stuck, stuck at no promotion, always at the same place, be receive your lifting from the Lord right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Since listen, I just added all of that because I wanted so I've covered much ground. Remember when I pray for somebody, if, if it's really, it's really, it's really uh the same. God, what God does is that you know what God does is that um, it, 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 everyone with that same kind of issue gets the anointing. Okay, like in this case, home purchase uh, at my offer. Okay, so I declare anybody who's looking to purchase a home, I declare that you are going to get it at the offer that God puts on your heart to offer. They will accept it. Even the realtors will say, I don't, I can't believe they accepted that, but they did. It's your house now. I declare that anointing on you. You better receive it in Jesus' name mighty name okay okay now somebody needs a job and visa to be granted this week lord wh whoever needs a visa whoever whoever's breakthrough is connected to a visa in any part of the world i command the earth beneath their feet and i say earth 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 hear the word of the lord and i command you to vomit the visa of whatever country that is connected to their blessing by god's divine design not by the work of the flesh by God's divine design. Lord, anyone who's, who's, who's called to any country where they need a visa and they are there by divine design, Lord, I declare they will not be rejected. In Jesus' mighty name. Mighty name. Wow. Hallelujah. Woo. Real estate object to be completed. I declare anybody with a real estate object and this will be completed. May this be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My wife to be healed from nightmares. So I declare and declare, Mr. Oyo, that your wife and anybody else, if you have got nightmares, by the way, I want to put your hands around your head right now in Jesus' name. And I declare that as you put your hand, Jesus is putting his head. And I declare and decree right now that I command, I command the ancient gates, the ancient gates 
of the King of Glory who designed you to close the door against every uh, 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 one, any, anyone who, who likes to teleport themselves into your dream in Jesus' mighty name. I declare and declare that no, tele, no, no, no telepathy of any kind, no astral projector shall get into your mind anything projecting dreams into, uh, into nightmares into your life is broken. The spirit behind nightmares, Lord, I issue a divine restraining order against it as an officer of the court of heaven. In Jesus' name, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, education and breakthrough for over my children. Lord, every parent right now, that this is an issue. They are believing God for education and breakthrough for their children's scholarships uh, to pass their examinations, Lord, to be accepted at certain colleges. Let it be so. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Wow. Well, once again, we thank God for his goodness. So we thank God for his goodness. So for those, again, in Africa who are having problems giving online, you can just, the WhatsApp giving for Africa is that number. Amen. WhatsApp of giving number, number tech, send a text and say that I want to give to Dr. Mouse. I want to give. You know, hallelujah. Sometimes you might get lucky. I might be in the office and I get to pray over you that what happened today, I was in the office when this person was trying to give by a WhatsApp and we, I was able to pray over them. I'm not promising to do that for everybody, but just remember when you reach my office, I do pray over every offering that comes into this ministry, radically so, because we don't pray in this ministry. That's, that's a big deal. That's a very, very big deal. We want to you to know that the mouse cares, Pastor Camilla cares, we love you. We appreciate you in Yeshua's mighty name. Now, listen, for people ask me, the mouse, when you're in Africa, in Zambia specifically, what are you doing there? You know, hallelujah. <laughs> well, listen, but for those who are in Zambia who are following me and would like to enjoy Dr. Mouse, you better do it now because, you know, I gave one year to Africa. Uh, next year, we are starting a, a, a two churches, one in Atlanta, Georgia, and one in T Nashville, Tennessee. So I'm going to be busy in the U.S. next year after, after, after April. So for those who are in Zambia, I say, Dr. Miles, what are you doing? How can we connect with you in Zambia? You know, listen, here's how you can do it. I'm going to show you how you can do it. Yes, that's it right there. You know, that is, uh, that is, the, that is how you can connect with us. You know, uh, that's it right there. So, so both of you who are looking for where to find me every Sunday. When I'm in Africa, that's a church. I, I am the senior pastor. I'm the founder. Uh, my wife and my wife is a, a, is a co-founder. We are supported by two powerful executive pastors. Pastor Jeffrey Amazwimbi from Zimbabwe was my business partner, a, long a, a life ally, you know, a very anointed, you know, an astute businessman. We meet at the Mulungushi International Conference. The name of our church is Dream Genesis Church International. You know, you can come and visit our dynamic and life-giving church every Sunday at 9 a.m. at the Mulungushi Conference Center. You can't miss it at all. You can't miss it at all. So come and meet with us at uh, 9 a.m. every Sunday at the Mulungushi Conference. This Sunday, I'm preaching up a powerful word, a powerful word. You have to be there to hear Dr. Miles break down this new and life-changing revelation in jesus mighty and glorious name i'm so far up if you can just join us in jesus name now listen you're going to sub subscribe to my youtube channel come on saints become a youtube evangelist for dr mouse if you love dr mouse uh, and the prayer marathons i do twice a week that's a level of love i don't know ministries at my level okay i'm not a fool i know the levels the Lord has brought me into. You know, I know what happens around the world when we travel. People can't believe we're in the country from God. I mean, whatever. God is doing amazing things. You know, people tell me, I've never seen a man of God on your level would give so much of his time to pray for people every week. Well, I, don't con I do not condemn those who do not, but that's just what we do. Okay? That's just what we do. So again, if you're enjoying this ministry, please, please, Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we're trying to get over 100,000. We are almost there. We are less than 9,000 people away from becoming over 100,000 people. That's going to be a milestone. But the algorithm on YouTube will change for us 
so you we can reach more people. So you're going to help us evangelize more people, touch more lives. How do I know? Because so many people tell me, my God, Dr. Miles, I found you on YouTube and my whole life has been completely changed. Amen. I'm really appreciative. Again, again, those who would like to sow into a King's Conference in Africa, I can't I can, I can thank you more. Okay, some of you are already seeing people are saying, people all over the world are saying, some of you are already beginning to send you $100 seed. Some of you are doing less than that, but, but, I, but I thank God for your seed. Some of you are doing more than $100. I thank God for what God has told you to do. I'm so appreciative by the Spirit of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. So I'm so excited. But I, once again, thank you again for humoring me, for allowing me to come into your homes, to come into your life. You know, and uh, I get excited this week and just this past week I was in Malawi and I met one of my YouTubers. She came, she brought me an offering. She she wanted to hug me. She couldn't believe she brought our family. She was on cloud nine because for the first time she was seeing the man she follows every week. I mean, so you have no idea. So if I'm in your country, please come and see me. I get more excited about my YouTubers and my Facebook people than any man alive. I just, because you're family to me. So I thank you again for allowing me to come the way I come. Once again, remember that December 16, me and Katie Souza are doing the unwinding, the speed of Python and Leviathan School of Deliverance. It's going to be December 16, so you have more than a month. I think today is what? Um, I don't know what day today is. I believe it's 13 or 14. Today I'm told it's the 14th. So you've got about 32 days for this event, 32 days. And you are going to attend one of the most anointed schools on deliverance you've ever done. And there will be massive deliverance. That's why I wanted to be on Zoom so we can see you. But this one comes with the registration, you know, registration. And I'm telling you, it is a, a registration, you know. So it's going to be, we only have a thousand seats left. A thousand seats left. Okay. You know, it's going to be a school uh, that's going to be like never before. You know, we're going to have a PowerPoint for you. We're going to be discussing. There will be Q&A. days. It's going to be amazing things uh, that, that you're going to get. You're going to ask me and Katie Souza. We're going to pray. We're going to prophesy. But most importantly, we're going to cast out these serpentine spirits that people fight. Okay? In Jesus' name. A lot of you, if you're dreaming about snakes in your dreams, you see, when you go to dream, your spirit shows you what you are fighting in the shadows or during the day that you can't see with your physical eyes. So it's not just you have a nightmare sometimes. Sometimes it's not nightmares. It is your spirit, which is the candle of the Lord, showing you what is actually happening in the realm of the spirit. So don't take that lightly. Okay, that's why me and Kerry Souza are going to go. Is it amazing that when Moses was being sent to Egypt, the first miracle God told him to perform was to turn his rod into a serpent? Why? Because you'll be amazed how many of us are being attacked by serpents. And they are getting away with murder because there is no, there are few pastors who actually teach on Mark chapter 16 that Yeshua commanded us to cast out serpents, not just demons serpents we are going to go into depth is it amazing it was a serpent that took adam and eve out of their position could it be that there are serpents taking you out of your death position or delaying you from entering your god given destiny position please don't miss this time of the god encounter what do you do just go to idolsriot.com you know all the qr code there put your phone on the qr code you know just press over it Highlight it. It's working, you know, and then when you click on it, I mean, it will take you right to the registration page and you can register and make sure you got your seat. The good news is this. Even though there's only a thousand chairs in that meeting, the day of the meeting, you could bring as many people as you want to in your living room who can watch from your computer. You can be together and get delivered together as a family whatever so amen but in terms of coming into the youtube the, the zoom stream you are you know it's one seat per register per registrant but we've only got a thousand and already they are telling me people are jumping on this is a very popular school for whatever reason you know and i'm excited because at the end of the day 
me and Kerry, what we promised ourselves, we want to not only deliver you, but to authorize you, deputize you, train you to go and cast out serpents in people's lives who are tired and don't know what is what is biting them, you know, and we are going to pull the covers of the devil and you never and you never be able to hide in Jesus name. Well, since I love you, Dr. Miles here, you know, and my people in the studio, we are so excited. Again, we love you. We appreciate you. May the Lord bless you and keep you and give you peace in Yeshua's name. But this Friday, we have another powerful, same time, a powerful prayer marathon uh, coming this Friday in Jesus' name. You don't want to miss a prayer marathon that's going to be coming on Friday. I love you and I appreciate you. Shalom, shalom. Goodbye. Revelation is what you need. It will be a joyous experience. It will be something you cannot wait to do. See, whatever the enemy fights, it's what he fears the most. This Melchizedek, this, as distinguished from any other person who may have won the title in any way as a prophetic, even as a prophetic allegory, this one that met Abraham, your father, was without mother and without father. He's without end of life or beginning of days. Angels are the beginning of days. There's at least 76 times where the Bible talks about that God is the judge of all the earth. So therefore, we're talking about the courts of heaven that is in the spiritual realm, not in the natural realm. Darkness has prophetic backing to express itself in these last days. For the light of God will shine on some people. Those people are lights in Him. Focus on the light. Your job is to ignore all this darkness and focus on that light. And it's only a matter of time to find that light growing. The supernatural is a byproduct of the kingdom. And really, it is not the supernatural. It's natural for us because in the Garden of Eden before the fall, it was naturally supernatural. It was called glory. It says he's a rewarder of souls who diligently seek him. And if you say it at the audacity to say, Lord, you say it, I'm holding on to what you said, and you do it for me. But for anybody, you said it, I believe it. A man who does not have intimacy with God will first of all not touch life. And even if he touches it, he will not grow in life. The quality of his life will not be enhanced. When a man begins to walk with God closely and in intimacy, his life and his life force begins to blossom. Men and women of wisdom, knowledge and understanding, we have to launch you in the air to war in heavenly places. The war, the battle, the fight. You have no idea, some of you may have an idea, of the battle we have to face. This flesh must die. For you to excel in the moves of God. Uh -huh. Then watch how the fruit of the Spirit will show up in your life. Your name be lifted high. Hallelujah. We bow down and worship. You reign forever, King of kings.